Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. I'm Tracy and where I'm standing right now is going to be an area that is going to be for the home project. And the weather here has been great. This is April 2024 and the ground's still a little bit soft and I'm hoping to get some things done that I can be capable of doing because of the ground conditions. This is exactly where I'm wanting to build what is going to be the new barn for hay and some other space that I can use for the hay equipment. But for the next several months, I'll give you a sneak peek once in a while of what's going on building this barn, but I needed to buy some tools. I wanted to build this barn myself. I am retired and I'm enjoying doing the things myself. I always have. That's why I built my own personal trucks and I've built my own trailer and I've always built my own pulling truck. So it's been a journey for me to learn how to do things and finish them and use them. So this is where I'm starting with the barn. Anyways, we'll go back to this later. We got some other things that we've been doing this week, and I'll share that with you. Go <laughs> check it out now. To let you know, at the end of the season last year, bale and hay, things went okay, but the power steering motor on this, this thing, right here you can see it. It goes at the bottom of the column, and the pump brings oil in here and then this, you know, lets you turn left and right. It was leaking up here and down there. And I decided to tear it down and start working on it. And I'll show a little bit of the pieces that I, that I did to it, but I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. Um, if anybody has a deal like this and you know somebody that works on them, it's worth it. Um, I got it back together and I'll show you what I did. Yeah. After tearing all the parts down, this is the uh, motor power steering. And I can tell you all the names of these if I was looking at the book, but I'm not looking at it. But it's complicated. I'm going to leave this to the professionals, but this is what I've been working on far as the professionals that do this kind of work every day um i suggest if you ever have anything like this to take it to them um i'm getting through it. i had a really slow leak uh and this guy it was right here and uh, the gasket was too high and it wasn't sitting down on there and shutting that off and I think it's got a bad spot in that so anyways I gotta take all them out and then there's a quarter inch ball <clears throat> had to replace this it got really hard and shrunk and it was no longer seating anymore. It sits on the outside of this gear drive. And also, there is a seal kit that goes up in this deal. There's an O-ring down in there and a brass ring and then another oil seal that goes in there and then there's this rubber. Anyways, that's what I've been working on. I'll get it all put back together and put it on the tractor. Okay, after working on that, seeing me do a little bit to it, I'm gonna drive it, see how it does. As 
as I'm turning this steering wheel, you can see I'm only using one or two fingers. And it's moving real smooth. There's no catches in it. When I turn it left or turn it to the right, it's a smooth transition. It was a success of rebuilding it. And it was a little bit expensive. Just the parts alone, I would say, was probably in the neighborhood of a couple hundred dollars. But it was well worth it. To the best of my knowledge right now, New Holland does not offer a brand new um, steering motor valve. Um, there probably is some aftermarkets out there. I'm not sure what the price is of. A brand new one is. But I think at one time it was in the neighborhood of twelve to $1,400 brand new. And that was several years ago. There is a parts kit that fits the 6610, the 7710. I believe it's from whatever years there were that that hydraulic system was because before that it was a gear drive. But you got to pay attention to the parts. They're all a little bit different in sizes. But take your old ones with you or have somebody do it that is a professional. Well, I'm happy with that. There's no leaks in the power steering. I'll be able to make it through the day without adding any hydraulic fluid to the power steering. So, keep working on equipment and getting ready for the season. And there's one more thing I'm working on. That's that hay barn. And it's much needed. I've needed it for years. And I'm looking forward to it. So, while I'm building the barn, there's some welding that's going to be needed to be done. And I'll go over some tips that I'm going to use. Um... Like I said earlier in some of the videos, the things that I'm doing here is, are the basics. And anyone that is wanting to learn how to weld the younger generation, you're going to be needed in the future. So hang in there and check out how I'm doing things. And I hopefully it's helpful for many.